Hey, welcome back to the World Famous Comedy Store Podcast on the ghost of Christmas past, Argus Hamilton. I don't know if we can use that. <laughs> if we if we hashtag it Argus Hamilton, no one will watch it. That's a guarantee. Will he see it? I, he doesn't know. He'll just ask what channel it was on and we'll we'll be fine. Um, have you seen Argus in the wild? I, I mean, I've seen him running at night, yeah. and uh, I don't. Beyond that, I don't know if he goes out. He does. Where'd you I've see him? him? Where'd you see him? The grocery <laughs> shop. Tail, yes, grocery Got shop. Day. Justin Martindale is here, oh, by yeah. the way, guys. <laughs> I was like, let's jump in. <laughs> I was at a, a pavilions. Okay, my local pavilions, and I heard the squeak of a uh, nice Ked shoe along the. <laughs> I like that. That's a solid, floor. privileged white sneaker. And the, yeah, and the socks pulled up to the knees. Yep, that's shorts, how he runs. A nice creamy thigh. Oh. <laughs> Everything that an American man should be. Ah, ah, ah. And I was like, huh. Like it was it spooked me. Because yeah. you're just like, you're not supposed to see we're I not supposed to see each other in the daytime. I saw, I saw Eleanor at the Grove. It threw me off. Yeah, like, that's weird. We'll talk about that when she gets here. But like, yeah, yeah. he's talking to the local seafood guy. Like they well, were, what kind of sea mouse <laughs> is it? Is it locally called a I've I've never wanted a disguise. Like I just I like pulled up my hood, put my glasses on, and like just sank into aisle five. Uh, Justin, you like catfish? Get over here, bud. Mitch has a great show for you at the seafood counter. How did he know I like catfish? <laughs> yeah, it's always weird. I saw Charles Fleischer at a Best Buy once, and it it was it, uh, I don't I'm gonna say haunting. Yeah, I heard it first. Doing, That's Roger Rabbit, right? Yeah, I yeah. heard him doing Roger Rabbit. At the Best Buy? And I literally was like, no way. <laughs> and I, at this point, had harassed Charles Fleischer for years as Drunk Argus at the comedy store. And I hadn't seen him in a long time. And I literally, like, creeped around the corner like, wait, is he? And it was him, an old Best Buy employee, and a young Best Buy employee. And the old Best Buy employee was loving it. Mm -hmm. And the young Best Buy employee was literally looking at him like, who's the hunchback yeah. that's doing weird voices from a movie? I don't know. Yeah. In, a, in, in front of the uh, dollar bin yeah. that and he Roger was, Rabbit was probably in. He was crushing for the old guy, though. And I was like, Good for oh, him. this is the best set he's had yeah. in a long time. <laughs> a set at Best Buy. Hey, we've done worse, right? I mean, I don't know if I've gotten there yet, mm -hmm. but I do plan on getting worse. I mean, I'm, crowd working at a old folks home that I'm in. The last one I did was um, I was with Dean Del Rey, and we were at. It was right before he went to Madison Square Garden with Burr, and so Dander. he was like, "I'm gonna warm it up. I'm I'm gonna do my set for the garden." That's not my Dean impression, but I tried. It's gonna be yeah. killer. It's gonna be great. Yeah, and uh, it was over at this like venue off Fairfax, and they and it was. You've probably done it. It's that steakhouse. What's it called? Uh, it's on Fairfax, like past third. Uh, that sounds I like can't a place they the wouldn't invite it. me. It was great during COVID. Great during COVID. Okay. It was outdoors. Like people were sitting on benches. But then after COVID, it was just kind of like, oh, there's like four people oh. on a bench. Right. And you're just talking to no one. Right. And we left and we came here because he had to bring me up here. And I was just kind of like, wow, that was soul crushing. Yeah. It feels nice sometimes. Does just, it? Not really. Uh, my Christmas Eve Eve set. Oh, bullet to the mouth. God. Uh, Christmas Eve, I had a, a, they let me do 30 minutes and it was fun. And then. I think you went before me. I think so. Yeah. And I went and I and I brought you up and you came out and I went, <laughs> yeah, something <laughs> like that. Like, okay. <laughs> that seems right. Cause I that was the first time in a long time where I've actually yelled at the crowd. I was like, why are you even here? <laughs> like just having a mental breakdown on stage. But it's like that always around Christmas. Yeah. They're with their families. And, yeah. And they have to pretend like they're not pieces of shit. Yeah. And when you're at a comedy show, act like a piece of shit because you are, and that's what we want people to be. Yeah. But everyone's just like, oh, I don't know. Yeah. I, don't I was, was even funny. like, Dad. Asking questions and no one was responding. And I'm like, oh, now we're all yeah. goody two shoes in front of our families. And well, yeah. Once I realized it was the holiday family situation, hey, wouldn't it be fun to go to a comedy show? Not with you, Mom and Dad. Oh, God. But 
once I realized that was going on in a lot of places, I really started pushing the parents about uh, sexual exploration yeah. in their younger days. And that really seemed to close the room off in a lot of ways while also <laughs> really opening up the fun for me. I've had my mom come to one show, and it was a memorable, great show. It was at the Ryman in Nashville. Okay, that's a good place. It was great. It was a moment. And she was in the audience, okay. and... I was like, oh, yeah, my mom's here. You know, this is a dream for her, the Grand Ole Opry, all that kind of stuff. And this guy is in the crowd out of nowhere, just goes, I want to fuck your mom. And I'm like, well, <laughs> wow. that took a turn. And I was like, mom, did you hear that? She's like, okay. I'm like, oh, no, this is why yeah. parents should never come. That's to special. <laughs> That's a special moment. I got off stage one time at the comedy store, and uh, my mom was sitting in the back, and when I got off uh, Party Pete of Dean 15 fame, I don't know if you uh, met Pen Part 15. There's a guy named Party Pete. Oh, uh, who who's just this fat, slubby guy here. Yeah, <laughs> I know it's hard to believe. And he just was full of shit. He would come and he'd be like, I'm friends with the Shores. Oh, uh -huh. I got a Ferrari, but it's currently in the shop. So that's, that's why I got boot on it. That's why I got dropped off by a police car. <laughs> You're like, cool, Party Pete. And then you're like, hey, can I bum a smoke? Man, I'm so rich. It's crazy. And you'd be like, oh, cool, man. Wait, which one is he? That's not what that's not Petey Pete, is it? That's not Pete C, no. 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 Pete C just actually brought a party. Yeah. Party Pete would go on stage and that's how he would yeah, just call me Party Pete. Oh wow. And so he was a full on delusional open mic or lunatic. But uh yeah, that guy. I don't even remember what the point of talking about Party Pete was. I mean, why not? Let's just bring in the, the old ghosts of yesteryear. I'm going as fast as I can up Sweetser. If I don't go through the wall, I'll be... First of all, this. you should know Eleanor is currently performing at the improv. improv. Yeah, you heard it, Mitzi. So yeah. if you feel like shutting down the whole power grid... <laughs> We'd all be on board with that. She's en route. She had a, a, a 7.30 show. Yeah. Um, I looked at the lineup on the improv, and she's first. And I'm like, that show's not starting on time. No. Um, and she her. will be here. Is that her tumbling down the stairs? Yes. There she is. Speaking of Eleanor Kerrigan, Guys. she is here from dun, her spot. Dun, 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 oh, what happened? Oh no! This is the magic. Well, this is what, what happens. Magic? What happened? The magic Happy can New suck Year! My dick. Oh, Happy New Year! Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 She, yeah. Magic. Guys, she came in hundred miles an hour, ready to go. That's I'm why right. she's the best in the business. I've got a fucking podcast. You look happy. Yeah, you look great. Thank you. We're talking about how Root human Canal this beings morning. are terrible. Oh, wow. Tonight, what could go wrong? Is that true? You root wow. canal? Dang. Did yeah, that feel emergency good? Emergency root canal. Yeah, good time. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Why don't you just <laughs> fucking kill me, you cocksuckers? I hate dentists. I hope they all fucking die. Oh. I'm sorry. Are you a uh, dentist? No, I went and got my teeth whitened, though. Oh, so gay. It hurt. Uh, why don't you just use semen? Why are you using that, real Is that dentist? work? Yeah. Well, I've never I, heard I that. I think that's an old wives' tale. Oh. I don't know. I, think I wouldn't know. <laughs> the whole wife. Yeah, no, I just got the old part. You want your teeth I never got to be the wife. white, don't you, babe? Yeah, no. I don't know if that's. <laughs> yeah, it's science. That's what they did in got. the 30s, I guess. Oh. <laughs> Wait, is that PJ? Come PJ yeah, or Dice? Yeah, this... I couldn't. Tell if it was PJ, PJ or Dice. Yeah. Yeah. Just suck the dick and mm. get the white in there. So, good, good, good. Yeah. There, there was somebody who was like, Oh, I love going to the dentist. Ooh. I wanted to put an arrow through her fucking forehead. Old I school. Were they, That's so the they Irish like numb you out? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The whole is it blown up? Piece? It's not blown up, but I well, can last tell. week it blew up. Yeah, yeah I remember. And then because it whatever down, that though. was, yeah. So then I had to have the dumb root canal. Okay. So. Ugh. Beautiful week, guys. Yeah. New Year's Day, perfect. Uh, New Year. If just in terms of nationalities, if you, you could put your rage uh -huh. somewhere out there, what specific countries of Europe would you say are the least um, desirable? Oh. England's top, yeah. Obviously, That's always top, England. Always number one. In terms of fucking, um, for oh, sure. Like the hottest countries? Which one's the ugliest? Oh, the ugliest. Yeah, which ones would well, you want to... Well, the wanna... English were the ones who raped my ancestors, so that explains the bad teeth. Thanks, mm -hmm. guys. Wow. Mm -hmm. So uh, they're always You might be, be from one. royal lineage. Ooh. Yeah. I, I got a 23 in me. I can't wait to see what kind of a... Are you, did you do it? Not yet. I'm I terrified. I'm scared because what I found... You, you ordered it? Like I got it for Christmas, which I'm like... 
thanks, babe. <laughs> He's like, we got to find out what you are. And I'm yeah. like, Honey, I want to know who you are. No, really. But now I'm intrigued. I want to know where you get this I know. hair from. I did well, it. I think yeah. it's Neanderthal. Everyone's Gotta like be. apparently like a little bit Neanderthal. Icelandic-y. Yeah, that's yeah I like it. And then it's like, oh, yeah, you probably are Neanderthal because the forehead. I'm How's like, your rage? Ooh. Huh? How's your rage? My rage? Yeah. Internally? I mean, Ooh, I mean, it's like it a bad nine. only inside? I'm like, yeah. Mine goes both ways. I go scorched Bisexual. earth if I go out. Like, I'm not physical, but I will. <gasps> I you might f- be Brett Ernst level Neanderthal. No, that's too Cro Magnon. That's <laughs> oh, okay. too, yeah. That's too. Please, that's too Jersey to- cave person. Yeah. Um, but um, I'm nervous because my friend Stasi, who was on Vanderpump Rules, she just found out today that she is related to to Gypsy Rose Blanchard. No. She's like her cousin or something. Nice. And I'm like, no. Like right close, when she's out close? there talking about I don't think, the D? I don't think close. Yeah, talking about so the exciting. D. <laughs> yeah. When you I, kill I, your, I, your mom. mom and then you go to jail and then you get out and you find the biggest loser of all time and then you just champion his dick, you're who, on the right path. Who but, kind of oh. looks like her mom. Hey, there's nothing wrong with a little oh, replacement. Stockholm Syndrome? Out of the... You know, once you get out of jail. I really miss my mom. I bet you he can make me sick, too. Ew, I know. It's weird. I can't tell. Like, if you put a picture of Gypsy Rose and a possum next to each other, I couldn't distinguish the two. Now, how do, you, how do you think you lie to a kid and make him? Or let me rephrase that. How do you think you get a doctor to lie to a kid? I mean, Because didn't they easy. take her to a doctor? Yeah, they took her to, like, several. But you can manipulate a doctor. Wouldn't they be yeah, like, wasn't she, like, boning uh, her she blood was, type? She was, uh, like, having sex with some of the doctors. Oh. <gasps> That makes sense. Okay, I didn't know that. But like what? Yeah, I, I don't know the story well enough. I just know. So I only know. I a, know a, a, there's a, a new lunatic <laughs> who was in jail. She's out of jail. Yeah. We're pretending to give a fuck. We give a three She's going to be on Dancing be a with dead the Stars. Duck. Yep. She's going to be I don't know on why every show. Anybody. Third one out of Dancing with the Stars. Four months out. She's mm-hmm. a dead duck next to a railroad track. Okay. <laughs> but why would anybody waste their time talking What's about her something name? Gypsy as silly Rose Blanchard. as Gypsy Rose Blanchard? Yeah. Why yeah. would somebody waste their time talking about something as silly as Gypsy Rose Blanchard when Cat Williams is out there just having a field day? What did he do? But he's been Nada. crazy for a while. What's he yeah, but he was on... Um, Shannon's podcast name. What's the podcast? Uh, he used to play football. Uh, Undisputed. Don't look is at that me. that what the name of it is? Uh, that he, I can't he was think on of the that, name. But yeah, anyway. So he was on it and he is just throwing every person, comic, who stole his jokes. Oh, who, wow. I mean, like going down the list. Nice. Give us some of the highlights. So this is so Cat good. Williams Epstein. Who list. did he put Ed- on blast? <laughs> yeah. Name and names. Epstein is nothing compared <laughs> yeah. to what he's doing. Steve Harvey, Cedric the Entertainer. Oh, wow. all I mean, he all, all of them. Oh, no. All of them. Who else he you, got? I, I was crying. And um, he did... Uh, You're right, Kyle Michael. <laughs> well, hold on. What is... I didn't watch the whole thing. I'm only you getting You couldn't even get through the list. Is it alphabetical? I, I was laughing so was hard. Was this the one where he said that Harvey Weinstein tried to like like blow him or something in a meeting. I know, but he did say he turned down this fifty million one. dollars four times. I do believe this is brand new. Okay, newish because yeah. it is everywhere. Wow! And I was like, yes, <laughs> give it to me. Because he goes, tell John Little, I'm not going <laughs> to give him that money. I okay, home. okay. So here's my thing. They're saying he's from Ohio, right? Yeah. Now I I knew Cat yeah. from here a while ago, and he showcased from Mitzi. This is when he went by Cat and Hat. Yeah, I Wait, what? Yeah. Yeah. Wow. And he, and he wore a cat in the hat hat. So cat in the hat. <laughs> sorry, cat. I I'm a big fan. Don't put me on your list, bro. Yeah, I'm, I'm not cat. I don't want you, I don't want to <laughs> be on your Epstein about logs. My hats. <laughs> <laughs> your your Williams logs or whatever you want to fucking call it. I because I, I was a fan because he was uh-huh. a great tipper. Yeah. Uh-huh. And but in the beginning, he you know, he was stri- you know, coming up, whatever. So he showcased for Mitchie and she goes, Oh, Eddie Griffin wears the hats. Yep. You got to get rid a, of the we hat. We already got a hat guy. We had a oh, hat guy. Oh, because that was like the Mitzi's, thing. Yeah, her thing. Yeah. She's like, I already have my hat guys was covered. This before Maz had to wear the turban or no? <laughs> Same era. Way, uh, way before. Okay, okay. Way before. They, okay. Ma- Ma's, I believe he showed up later. in the hat though. So it wasn't okay. like a Mitzi suggestion as much right. as it was like, oh, I need someone with a hat. And she didn't know she needed it till she saw it. Exactly. But then it was like, oh, I need one. But, uh-huh. Eddie, but only one. Eddie wore those jikes. Gigantic hats. Yeah, Eddie's ridiculous. Were like cartoonish, uh-huh. like Pillsbury Doughboy with all these colors and 
and the shorts. Mentally and the, well. Yeah. Gimmick, yeah. Gimmicks are good. Yeah. yeah. We love a gimmick. I went to Harvard and yeah. <laughs> 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 Both? Those were all facts. I wonder if Kat covered those. God. Eddie Griffith stole my lies about going to Harvard and Yale. <laughs> no, but he did say Steve Harvey stole his his story about being homeless. Which wow. is hysterical. <laughs> I was like, what? I hope Steve Incorporated heard the story once and he was like, ooh, new origin story. <laughs> And then went straight to the top. <laughs> but I hope Steve's doing okay. Yeah. You think he'll be all right? I think he'll be fine. Survey says he said he'll Cedric be fine. the entertain uh, uh, Cedric the entertainer stole one of his bits. He goes now. Cedric forgot he's supposed to be an entertainer. You're supposed to be able to sing, dance, tell jokes, uh -oh. entertain, and he couldn't do none of them. Oh man, <laughs> I was crying. Wow. It was so bad. It was good. It's like, the best kind. That's what it's all about. It's so. true. I like more gossipy comics. He's here shit. tonight. Let's bring Kat in. If but we Kat, can. Kat, <laughs> but how did he get from Ohio to Miami? I think he said Miami. Coconut Grovey. Uh, yeah. That's where he was homeless. Uh, to Oklahoma to stiff our friend John Little. He have, al and allegedly. To L.A. He borrowed money from John Little, <laughs> promised to give it back $50. to him. $50. Oh, $50 wow. for a bus ticket. And Kat got still, on that bus. God. Still unpaid, despite Kat's <laughs> refusals of fifty million dollars on multiple occasions, uh. he has not paid the fifty American dollars cash to John Little. Please send it into the comedy store. We will make sure he gets it. And you know, but that's the weird thing because Kat is like, uh, I mean, when he would tip, I was like, this guy's the best. I, I'm not. In I some don't way, care Eleanor, what he does on stage. Yeah, <laughs> Eleanor kind of got John Little's money. Is what I, it sounds like. I guess like. I should give it to John. Mm -hmm. When I lived in Sherman Oaks, I think it was like maybe eight or nine years ago. There was a, a lady who on New Year's Day just leaped off the. And this was did they blame Tommy? Did you live well, here? Or well, <laughs> Tommy did live down the street at the well. time, but. <laughs> Um, I didn't from what she her. said was uh, <laughs> she said that she was doing the open mic down at the Charlie <laughs> Chaplin house no. and that he didn't pass her there. So, well, you don't have good beats. <laughs> Kill yourself, okay? New Year's Day. Don't start a new year because you ruin this one. <laughs> And it was, it seemed aggressive, but it was an open mic. So. Yeah, yeah. Charlie, Get a hat. Charlie Chaplin. <laughs> well, it's, uh, me and Kenny Lyons are doing one behind a burned oh down Applebee's. Oh, my God. Okay. Do you think he started an open mic where he is? I, there's got to be one going on in Honduras Who's on Tommy? the island. Yeah. You think so? On Come Tommy by Taco island? Wednesday yeah. for island. comedy night, okay? <laughs> we're, we don't know where he is. Yeah, we do. We do? Where? Yeah, he's on Facebook. You can he, catch oh. him. He posts clips of him singing songs at oh. the island. He really does play Taco Tuesdays. Yeah. yeah. I yeah. just love that I thought he vanished. No. And we have to find him. And he well, tells comedy store songs. <laughs> <laughs> he just throws a smoke bomb. We're like, oh my God, where'd he go? So dramatic. By the way, can I get Francisco Ramos's phone number? I want to do a comedy <laughs> show down here. <laughs> It's Nicaragua? He did. He did. I think it's Honduras. Oh, Honduras. Yeah, right, like right, an right. island, though, off of mm -hmm. Honduras. Mm -hmm. he, he did contact Francisco and, like, hey, this would be a good place to do comedy. Shit. Yeah. Oh, and I'm oh, bilingual. He's from Guatemala. <laughs> Venezuelan. <laughs> yeah. He's Venezuelan. Yeah, he's South American. It's Venezuelan. Yeah. I meant Venezuelan. <laughs> you said Guatemala. I did not. As David Taylor would say, Mexico's Mexico. Mexico City. <laughs> Guatemala. El Paso. Texas. El Paso by way of Juarez. Yeah, he's Venezuelan. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Tommy doesn't care. He just knows South America. And, and so he'd yeah. so. probably put this thing together. Keep <laughs> keep the the dream alive. Yeah, keep the comedy store talent going. Truck. The legacy. And she wanted me to open the comedy store in an island off of Honduras. Did she? That's, That's what we're weird. calling and it. It's called Ha Ha Honduras. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> legends only. <laughs> oh man. I don't give him any ideas because he probably listens to this uh, and he uh, will open the Ha 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 Honduras. I'll talk to Leah every weekend. <laughs> Honduras. No. It's so good. I yes. hate myself. You should no, be called I love Johnny you. Bananas. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, Tommy didn't pass you, right? No. Oh, Mitzi did. Yeah. yeah. Right, 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 right. But she picked you out of a Got just the a rage. Show. Raged out the Yeah. All the paid regulars there that so night. That Mitzi was oh, yeah. passing right. people. Was like, that what? was it though, right? Because at that point Tommy was passing people mm -hmm. already. No, Tommy Or at least he was lying to people and telling them he was that going Mitzi to. He was doing it. Mm -hmm. uh, and so that had been going on for like 
two years. Oh, really? But she would yeah. come in every once in a while. But she would only pass, like, Mitzi would actually pass, like, three people a year. Mm-hmm. Maybe. Maybe. Because she'd come in two nights a year, and she'd like a couple people, and be like, all right. Yeah. Most of the time, it's like, then we would only put people two in front nights of her. a year. Oh, you mean like later? Yeah. You mean around when, when he when got... Martindale got passed? Yeah. yeah. She, got it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Cause she was, he was bringing tapes to her. Yeah. He said. Allegedly. <laughs> I know. No, no, that oh, was allegedly. Happening. Everything's allegedly. I, I just wish we had allegedly. Oh, if we, I wish we had video of Holtzman yelling at him that night that Tommy tried to tell him. That, oh, well, yeah. I talked to Mitzi, and he's like, "Oh, did you? Because I was at Mitzi's." <laughs> 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 and he just lost it on him. You're a liar. What did she say to you? What did you just say? <laughs> He's like pointing in his face. Oh, I didn't know you were over there. Okay? Holtzman and I, like, well, I would sneak over excuse. to Mitzi's a lot. <laughs> <laughs> so to good. find out info? No, or no, what? no, no. Just visit her. Oh, just visit her, yeah. make her laugh, do dumb shit. I bring her cookies and Holtzman would eat them all and then yell at her help. <laughs> it was very strange. But it was, but Tommy would say things like, you know, well, Mitzi said. It, yeah. Mitzi oh, I remember that. I got some of that. The building like show. Mm-hmm. Okay. And he wouldn't uh, give Holtzman spots. Then he'd be like, well, Mitzi said it's important <laughs> that you have some time off because some of the. <laughs> And sets have been not so funny yeah. lately. <laughs> Mitzi said uh, it's like, important. Oh, that's what Mitzi said. <laughs> you're like, well, he just thinks it'd be oh good God. for you. I feel I got that. I remember that specifically. <laughs> Speech. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What a dick. Because it was like Passing when I first buck. started, I didn't know what the hell I was doing. Right. Like, like there was no like intro to the store. So yeah. I just remember like getting here and being like, oh, uh, this yeah, is Yeah, because my you job. didn't know what it meant. I had no idea what it meant. You didn't know who she was. I didn't know you didn't anything. Know. You're I like, was just Devil like, wears I'm just doing Prada. a show. Yeah. yeah. It was just like, okay, put in your avails. I was like, what's an avail? I don't know what that is. <laughs> and then... Do I tell Kathy Lewis? Yeah, what do I do? <laughs> what? What do you think I got time nobody... on my show for this motherfucker? <laughs> <laughs> she was so mad at me. Hey, Kathy. What... <laughs> First of all, don't be bashing comics on my show. Kathy, is Rick going to do your show this Not week? Not unless he does that dancing. <laughs> she really thought Rick was a dancer. Fired. No, my favorite is when she'd be like, mid And then show. I'm going to talk about my pussy. <laughs> oh. She fired him mid-show because he wasn't dancing. What? What do you mean mid-show? <laughs> uh, they asked me to host. I said I would do it. Uh, I went out, opened the show. I came backstage. They were waiting for me like a couple of fucking Russian mobsters. <laughs> hey, man, what are you doing? Goes, oh, what's the problem? I'm looking at Vargas like, why is this dude fucking with me? Uh-huh. And then Kathy's like, why are you doing all that crowd work? <laughs> and I'm like, what? Because it's my thing? And he's like, yeah, man, you can't just be going out, opening the show with a bunch of crowd work like that. And I was like, but that's. That's what I do. I'm like a crowd work comic. Yeah. And she's like, I seen you before. You do all that dancing. <laughs> and I go, what? And I started laughing. And then she's like, I seen you. You do the dancing thing. That's why we booked you. And I'm like, I don't dance. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. I'm a crowd work guy. I'm mean. I'm a mean person. You, Rick. <laughs> <laughs> Give my regards to Broadway. Broadway. <laughs> Fucking, oh my God. in my mind, and like picture me in like fourth grade talent show. She's in the back with a notepad. <laughs> I'm hammer dancing across the stage. And she's like, God damn, can't wait for him to get to Hollywood. <laughs> that kid's gonna be a star. And that was the last time I danced. Wow. <laughs> Oh, what a dream oh, killer. Oh, oh. I did not know you did the hammer yeah. in fourth grade. She just has I those pop breathe. rocks from Boogie Nights just thrown at your, <laughs> thrown at your feet. Just... Dance, <laughs> three <Rich>, days. <laughs> so I assured, I assured them I am not a oh dancer. Oh, my God. <laughs> and then... Uh, oh. And then they didn't fire me immediately. Then I went back out after that comic bombed. Uh. And then I was like, man, how shitty was that comic? (laughs) Man, I was starting to wonder about some of the names on this list. (laughs) And then I walked backstage and he was like, I mean, that's unprofessional. I'm like, oh, uh, yeah, I don't know, man. Unprofessional. And then I, said, I go, you're not even paying me. And he goes, I was going to get pizza for everybody. Oh, wow. <laughs> All right. Okay. Well, well, well then. So uh. then, I, then I, in true comedy store fashion, I was so proud that I yeah. just got fired from a bringer show. Yeah. Uh, that I went over, did my set in the OR that I had. And then I was standing at the back door talking to Steve Simone and a couple other people. 
And I was like, yeah, I just got fired. <laughs> I think Steve was like, I thought you were hosting the show. And <laughs> That's I was a like, good Steve. Fired from hosting. <laughs> I, got, I got fired because they wanted me to dance. And then I was mean about how shitty their comics were. And then I kind of, I was just making fun of Kathy. And I was like doing a mean Kathy impression. And some fucking loser bringer comic <laughs> went backstage and was like, hey, the guy, host guy is making fun of you in, in the back. So then oh. Kathy came storming out. Yeah, she'll fuck you up. I heard this is talking <laughs> shit. And then a Muppet is yelling in your face and your friends are like standing there. You're just like, oh, oh man. God. Just give it to me, Grover. Yeah, give it to me. If I'm like super mean to her, now I'm like yeah. picking on a retarded Muppet. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. yeah. <laughs> I mean, and then I, I just do go, love Kathy, I, I but her, yeah. go, she does get sensitive. I go, I, I was just, you guys fired me for literally doing Your what job. I'm known for. Yeah. You guys are apparently the only people who don't know who I am or what I do, and that's fine, but I don't know who you thought I was. Yeah. And so I was telling them the story, and so, yeah, I was making fun of you guys. Well, I don't know why you got to talk shit. <laughs> did you see her at the like, Christmas party this year? No, I, I did. did. That's exciting. <laughs> did you see her? I wasn't here. Oh, you weren't? No. Okay, well. Getting a root canal. Oh, yeah, just another just one? Just keep getting them. Hold on. Oh. I did see her. I was like, hey, Kathy. She's like, I, I saw you're her. You're at my show. I'm like, I know. That's 2009. <laughs> That's exciting. Did you keep good. in touch with her? I like Kathy. I mean, yeah, I mean, we I mean, joke about her, but I like. Yeah, she's a of course. Of but course. that was silly to hire somebody that I was never obviously... friends with her, and I didn't appreciate the interactions I've had. <laughs> <laughs> what happens to you happens to you. That's your. I'll fault. see you in hell, Kathy. <laughs> <laughs> you don't find me in this town. <laughs> <laughs> he does the hammer. <laughs> Oh my God! That would be so good. Uh, uh, <laughs> what a great scene that mm -hmm. was with you in the fire and her yelling at you. I love this. So mad. I, I yeah. I mean, I had never done their show. They'd never asked me to do it. I, I remember I walked I, off stage in the OR, and Kathy was in the hallway, and she was like, "Hey, you want to host?" And I'm like, "Oh, sure." And I already knew I was going to be here to do a yeah. comedy store set. So yeah, I'm yeah. Just like whatever. But, uh, I, again, no idea what she was, if she saw me that night right, or just right, right. thought I was someone else. And Definitely when I walked in the hallway was like, someone else. but to this day, like, I, I, don't, I can't think of a single comic who looks anything like me unless this right. is a white people all look the same. Jeremy thing. Dingle. <laughs> um, but, yeah, that dances. Yeah. I'm just like, who dances in there? Frank Lemmerman. I'm like, yeah. yeah. Who's the dancing comic? Do you know Frank Lemmerman? No. That's tremendous. He, oh, I am the German Polly Show. <laughs> oh, my God. See, I'm so <laughs> glad I missed all that. He showed up. Dude, in a I singlet. Here, tremendous. He was in a singlet. His his nuts and bolts just tightly packaged. Like walking down Playing the hallway. Paddle, in a yeah. singlet. Paddle yeah. tennis. Yeah. Like, Whatever uh, that's called. Like a wrestling unitard. Mm -hmm. And then he'd have red hair that high. was spiked up high. like Mitzi Clinton. Couldn't get enough of them. Couldn't get enough of them. Why? Because it was names on the front of the building. Because really? I don't have a German Polly Shaw. How great is this guy, huh? He was on German. Unbelievable. Uh, he was on uh, German MTV, MTV Europe. Yeah, German MTV. <laughs> he had a show where he was like the VJ or whatever. That Even Polly was like, this guy's a lot. Mm. You gotta get rid of him. Polly would take him up. <laughs> it would take him up to his when Polly lived at Landing Patch mm -hmm. or Landing Pad or whatever it was called. Yeah. His house on the on Mole Holland and uh Frank would he'd drop him back off at the comedy store at like one in the morning and we'd be all like working the door like the lot or whatever and Frank would wobbling. Whoa. And you'd be the like, skinniest you right? little back. guy oh. you ever saw. Just oh, cracked I, out or what? I went to Polly Shaw's hot tub. Oh, uh, well, <laughs> I that'll do it. too much and I smoked <laughs> some pot and I am so high and fucked up right now. <laughs> <laughs> and Jeff Scott would be like, come with me, Frankie. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jeff Scott, I am so fucked up. <laughs> and then I'd see him the next day and be like, you were pretty fucked up last night, Frank. And he'd be like, oh, my God, did you see me? I was in a hot tub. <laughs> like, what? With, with who? Polly Shore. Polly <laughs> and me. Sometimes there would be babes. Sometimes there weren't. Oh, Polly had these babes over. I got so fucked up. Was his hair still up? Yeah. yeah. Oh, wow. Oddly. That's discipline. Yeah, but at that point, it was all. It looked okay. like. Yeah, it was yeah. out of place. It was, fa it was yeah. falling down. The hairspray was like no a longer tulip. holding That's what it. people yeah. could tell when I was messed up. When your hair when was my messed hair, up. If your hair is messed if up. If your hair is, if my hair is drunk, 
Did you do a lot of Kathy <laughs> shows? Did I do what? A lot of Kathy shows? Or did, mm. was that the only one? No, 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 no. I did like the ones where she did like, um, like El Cid. Oh. Like, uh, what was the other one? There was one like M, M Room or M, M Bar? M-bar. M-bar, yeah. On Vine Over by Vine, yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you ever do that one? Fountain and Vine? It was like yes, a red room. Okay. Yeah. It was and a it was, cool looking room. Yeah, it was kind of weird. I think that's where I actually started. I remember like Tammy having me there and then moving me over to El Cid. But it was like monthly shows. And I was like, that's enough. Once a month. I did a once a month show. <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> I did an M-bar show once with uh, that guy who was pretending to be Eddie Murphy's son. Yes. <gasps> Wait. That Remember that fucking one. lunatic? That was a good one. Yeah. And he would just go on stage and just do Eddie Murphy. Man, my dad is crazy. Shit, I feel like I know that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It was, uh, Brando, he was coming here for a while, right? and I then we fact-checked it. Yeah. Brando Murphy is what he Something was going like by. Something that. Something weird. Whatever happened? I was thinking about this the other day. <laughs> whatever, whatever happened, happened to the kid to... who, the guy, not kid, but We who... need to have a whatever happened to section. There yeah. should be. Yeah. Whatever happened to the guy who... Had cancer and then went on Ellen, and then Ellen oh. gave him like a check to like. Hey, man, film. he still works, I believe. He he definitely lived, and there was questions about the severity of his cancer. Right. Um, his, he has the same name as a producer. Damn, Quincy. Do you remember? You know, Quincy, Quincy Jones. Quincy Jones. Yeah, yeah, Quincy Jones. That's it. What happened to him? I think he just took the money and What's ran. The and what? The internet. <laughs> Roll the tape. I'm pretty sure he lived on. And I know. He's here tonight. It's just him and Kim. Kim. Uh, Jones. And Cat Williams, everybody. He's opening for Cat yeah, Williams. I was the first one to come up with a cancer yeah. scan. <laughs> cancer cat. Jesus, cat. You really did it all. I, I don't know why he was on my mind, but like I was That's like walking through yeah, like a grocery store and I was like, Oh yeah, he what made it. That guy? He made it through that pandemic without any issues. No flares from. <laughs> <laughs> no anyway. flare ups. Not huh? a flare up. <laughs> <laughs> Just a Christmas cancer. Flare he brought up. a flare up. <laughs> You guys, trust me. When it comes to medical stuff, you're uh, right the source on it. to go. Yeah. You know what exactly? This it dude is. would have had a flare up for sure if it was real. Uh. What we need to do. Is drain his bank accounts, mm-hmm. get I like the money that. back into Ellen. I like Ellen all of or, this. I know. It's like he got like one hundred fifty thousand dollars from Did Shutterfly, really? whatever that is. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Yeah. Like Ellen was like crying, and she's like, I'm "Give the money special. back to Ellen. She needs yeah, the money." But then Ellen got canceled, and yeah. so everything. So everything's went away. okay. Maybe it, it canceled each other out. I don't, I don't know. know. Yeah. I, yeah. I was just kind of like I remember being like, "Oh man," but then like afterwards we were like. He was full yeah. of shit, right? Yeah, he was lying, I'm pretty I sure. I don't know. I'm not getting in trouble. I'm not saying I'm, anything. I'm sorry if you hear this. I'm just kidding. I, don't, I am I excited, really don't though, know. to announce I will be doing the new Ellen biopic. <laughs> the, You're playing Ellen? Dance? <laughs> it, it's oh, yeah, a musical. She does she dance. Dances. She does dance. It, it is a musical. Yeah, so practice I will be... hobbling over a coffee table when you get home. I did, I hired, Casting Kathy Lewis. I hired Kathy as a choreographer as well. Uh, Stop uh, doing wait. the light shit! <laughs> what, I'm not, what does that mean? But it's Ellen. Wouldn't that be the irony of Kathy Lewis <laughs> like the a, casting director? A month, that was so great. A month ago or so, I was hosting upstairs and she showed up to go on. But it was one of those nights where it was just getting longer and longer. So you had to give her a longer set than usual <laughs> because the other people could I would wait. have, but she wound up leaving. You should have oh, given her Kathy. It was too, you do it was too, too much. You do two minutes of dancing up top, you can perform. <laughs> That's what I would have said. Uh, I, the, I'd the like have to turned. have her on just to find out what the fuck she, where she saw this dancing. I yeah. know. It's, That's what I want to see. The next time I bring you up, so if you don't long, dance, but, but if I have to follow you or you bring thought, me up, to I me, need a shuffle. The thought of watching. <laughs> hammer, at least the yeah, hammer, MC Hammer. If I could have had a camera on Vargas and Kathy walk, <laughs> as they walk from backstage in the main room over to the side to start watching the set, expecting the music cue to start and the dancing to begin. A solid couple minutes of dancing to the point that she believed my set was yeah. mostly based on dancing. Oh, yeah. please. Like, what are, are you, but, Julia Stein? And they're like <laughs> Juilliard, like watching you. <laughs> Blue jean, baby. <laughs> this is a little informal, <laughs> but welcome to Juilliard. He takes his shoes off, yeah. puts them neatly in the corner. What? It's a little modern. Put uh, on some Jamiroquai. Go <laughs> and got that candy tonight, baby. <laughs> oh, yeah. Just cut to a shot of Fahim, just like. Yeah. <laughs> 
That <laughs> son of a bitch. That's my shit. my shit. Oh, maybe it was Fahim she saw. If, no. if she's confusing me and Fahim, then Kathy That's, yeah. has more issues. <laughs> I think it's the same guy. <laughs> we don't even. Lance Cansopolis. <laughs> Wait, no. Ingram. <laughs> Cansopolis. The same thing. Yeah, very similar. <laughs> very, very similar. Oh, that's so funny. Yeah, yeah I missed, but, I missed how all that. How mad they must have been. Who Just are watching you? me do crowd work. Like, what mm. the fuck? Fuckers, get back. When he gets off stage, you give him a piece of your mind. <laughs> you tell him if he don't get out there and dance, he ain't getting pizza. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Kathy, calm down, all right? I'll talk to him. Pizza. <laughs> I can't. This motherfucker thinks he's getting pepperoni with this act. <laughs> You better fuck around and find out, Rick Ingram. <laughs> Put your tap shoes on. It's comedy time, boy. <laughs> it that? definitely popped out the root canal. <laughs> Why is this 12 years of Bringer Show? <laughs> Get out there and dance. Mar Marcus <laughs> sweeps me off back to stay. What the fuck? That's not even part of this show's thing. <laughs> <laughs> walk, 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 walk. Uh, yes. Yeah. Oh man. Wh who were some of the crazies that hung out when you were doing it? God, I mean, was like Mugzilla still here? No, oh, no. man. Remember? No, there was the guy in the green suit, Robert, Robert Abraham. Abraham. Yeah, I remember R. him R. going, Robert. "What is that?" And I remember him like, like everyone just screaming at this. Bye! <laughs> and him just like running down the hall covering his ears and I was like who if I don't even are, know if you are a paranoid paranoid schizophrenic yeah and you also were at one point an open micer at the comedy store uh -huh. and 30 years go by and the only thing you can do in the world is go back home and get harassed every single day for 30 years this every day is the best place every for day. you yeah uh. He was just here every me. night. Every night. Every Monday. Yeah. It, it in a turned green suit. to every Monday. Yeah. He would close out. It, well, because we had Sundays it and was, Mondays it, for a while. Yeah, he was here. Yeah. He was here Sunday, Monday, Tuesdays. Oh, yeah, because we did go to Potluck on Tuesdays. And then... And Mitzi would give him gas, uh, bus money. B yeah, bus fare money. Cause, but that was like him getting paid to perform. Otherwise, he couldn't accept it. Yeah, he wouldn't accept it. He had a it. lot of rules. Yeah. But he would accept... The oh. shittiest weed ever. <laughs> oh, yeah. I remember, like, shitty weed. There was Weeds, a shitty weed. But that's, like, a community. Thing. Yeah. <laughs> that's the weed community. Baby. Let, let, let me. <laughs> they uh, actually do the fingers, which was so exciting. You're like, how creepy is this yeah. guy? Oh. <sighs> uh, <laughs> uh, I just remember him being very Grinch. Weed? No, yeah, no, no, no. Okay. No. Yeah, look, look, look. They all shared it uh, with him. He wouldn't, burp, burp. he wouldn't actually hit the joint because he was concerned. That oh, about germs? Oh, yeah, germs, yeah, yeah. government agencies sure. poisoning the joint. Sure. So he would try and get it as close to his lips and suck without it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, oh, wow. Wow. He didn't even get any there. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. I'm so glad like I missed that. So sick. Oh, uh, Eric. Eric, thing. it's Rick. Eric. Uh, uh, <laughs> all right, Eric. I just became well, Eric. Eric did uh, pretend to be a wrestler for a while. Was it a wrestler? What no, was I, I was, I'm sorry, just, it was a... I just was his biggest fan. While everyone else yeah, in the Yeah, but then they would throw you on the stage. So everyone else would yell at him and yeah. attack him. I remember I, that. I played the part of the only guy that liked him. <laughs> yeah. And I would sit in, like, the second row, and I would laugh at all of his jokes and... <laughs> Um, uh, 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 what do you call a, a, a group of marijuana heads uh, having a picnic? Uh, pot potluck. And he'd be like, oh, what is <laughs> and I would just be like, because oh, the word pot's in it. <laughs> it's because the word pot's in it. And everyone else would be like, shut up. That's not a funny. And then Don Barris would come over and be like, you think that's funny? And just scream at and everybody. Then, oh, no. and then he would physically pick, pick me up. And then throw me on stage <laughs> at the man. The paranoid schizophrenic. Whatever. Oh, he would pick you up oh, and physical, throw you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And so yeah, Robert yeah. Abravaya would be staying there trying to tell his jokes. And then a 130-pound Rick Ingram would literally come flying. <laughs> Eric. Smack Eric. him in the chest. Yeah. <laughs> literally knock him down. And then, uh, uh, Eric, I, I apologize that, uh, the fact <laughs> oh that you my are uh, a fan of comedy. And I'd be yeah. waiting tables like, this is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. This is I don't know. How ridiculous. are you not a dancer? You're so light on your feet. <laughs> no, thank you. <laughs> you should see him fly. <laughs> <laughs> Swanning. Because I Black Swan. Uh, Kathy's picturing her holding uh, me up. <laughs> yeah, God. I think I had no, I had him and then I had I mean the I had the 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 late ones. I had Jesus, Kevin, 
Oh yeah, oh, R.I.P. Yeah, yeah, Jesus and yeah. Boone. R.I.P. Boone. R.I.P. Maybe. Oh. R.I.P. Question mark. Yeah, we've been R.I.P. Question mark. Have Ooh. we? We don't know. We, we don't, don't know. know. But it does bring up a good point. Yeah. Really? <laughs> What's 12 inches long and white? <laughs> oh, Not a it. damn thing. 12 inches long and white. <laughs> Me and Kim Congdon were trying to figure that out. I couldn't, for some reason, couldn't remember. I had a problem. Yeah, but no. That was, that was Boone's go-to. I think, go I think to. that's three episodes in a row now. With that, it? That we've With 12 inches? Oh, wow. Where we've what? <laughs> That's a hat trick right Where there. Where we talked about Boone? Yeah. Or, oh, told that joke specifically. or it's Beetlejuice. We all turn into him. Yeah. Or he shows up. I would love that oh, if we could bring him back. What if he just showed He's up? He's here. Bring oh. Boone in. Just oh. clean and rich. Oh, hey, Ricky. Oh, yeah. All those shirts in a box. Justin oh. Martin. Oh. Oh. Okay. Tony, click clack. I filed for 50 different PPP loans. Oh. Oh. Rich. I would love it. He just rich, has like bitch. a leopard on a leash. <laughs> He he now he owns would. five different thrift stores. <laughs> yeah, Jesus, out of the that closet, all the yeah, dispensaries, yeah. everything. God, yeah, he would just be rolling yeah. in it. He that would be awesome. I just remember Ish. bringing people here, and and he'd come up. He's like, "You want a Lori Morgan shirt?" And I'm like, "What? <laughs> Lori <laughs> Lori Morgan, like the country singer from the '90s?" And I'm like, "Kinda, maybe." Yeah, he, he had vintage. The, How much he, is it? Yeah, it's like two dollars. They were the strangest clothes. Like the t shirts he would have made no sense that yeah. they were all together. Like, yeah. you're like, I don't know where you stole these from. A lot of books. Yeah. This isn't one person's wardrobe. Mm -hmm. But then, like, there was a couple times where he'd come up to my friend Mark and he'd be like, You want to buy anything? Mm -hmm. And he'd be like, What do you got? And he's like, T shirts and books. And he's like, You got anything with the Oak Ridge Boys on it? And he'll be like, Ooh, I'll be back. And then he'd come and back he would two vanish. minutes later yeah. with an Oak Ridge Boys yeah. t shirt. Oh. Oh my like, God. Why the fuck do you have an Oak Ridge boy? And then Mark would be like, I have to buy it. And of course, Mark's like, $2. Which Here you go. makes me sad because he really could have jumped on this whole podcast thing. We could have Boone's Bin. Oh, God. Where gotcha. he's just, you know, it's him with a bunch of shit. That's his to... merch he's yeah. selling, but it's your stuff he's stealing. Yeah. That's what Not he did. Bad. He would Someone steal. He, didn't he steal Dave Taylor's? Was it his cell phone or his laptop? He, he stole his laptop, laptop and then tried to sell it to him. <laughs> And the hits just keep on I coming. Mean, that was it. That <laughs> but was that the was place. the club. And, yeah. and, I, and like, I, I mean, I, I wonder, does the improv have bizarro no. people like that? Does the Laugh Factory have? Is it just this place? It is, is it the black well, in the building? The, or the, the Laugh Factory in the had air? that Mike David creep. Oh, oh yeah. But David, wasn't he Mike like David? a partner? Yeah. That's what he Something. claimed, but then he was, they banned him, so you yeah. can't be a partner and be banned. <sighs> yeah. I think that was like Dane Cook's part owner. No, oh, really? But he opened up all the other clubs, right? I thought he did like, what were the I other thought he had factors? Something like to San do with Diego. It. All the there was one on like an island. Did you do that yeah. one? No. I, if it was the Laugh Factory, I didn't do it. But yeah, right. You, know, you did that improv me. one that was a weird I did an, location. I did an improv one in South Tahoe. Right. I did an improv oh, yeah. one in Palm Springs. Uh -huh. That was horrible. Mm -hmm. Um, I think that's it. And then the improv in Vegas when it was at Harrah's. Yeah. And that that, show. Oh, I've done that one. That one was, was terrible. <laughs> That one was that was real. Yeah. yeah, that was old. That one was real. That was like the like I feel like the first one did in you, Vegas. Yeah. I did six nights and six. I did like eleven. I think it's, I think it was twelve <laughs> shows, shows or nights. Nice. Shows. Nights. That's yeah. what it was. Yeah, I was yeah. gonna and, say yeah. You did. And I got like a hundred bucks a night. Yeah. 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 And, oh. oh, it was brutal. And then you had to go eat in the cafeteria with, with all the employees. people. Oh, <laughs> yeah. God. they give you the little employee oh. card. You're like, thanks. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. You eat the Fruit Loops that are like stale oh. by nine weeks and. And I had my friend with me, and like we, uh, he couldn't eat with me. Okay. Because it was just like, I have the card. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> oh, and you're just eating next to this woman with like feathers, and you're like some old <laughs> and magician, and you're like, the wait staff got from one the buffet. Out. Yeah. Like, yeah. Nobody wants to see that. That was the real, that was real. It was terrible. And then they had, uh, they had me, first of all, the, most people we had at any show was probably 30. Yeah. Oh, and wow. they were all old. That's pretty good, you know, it was though. Like Friday for... night, first show. Every other show was like. How many seats? Was that a big one? I think it was like you could probably fit 150. Yeah, it was 200. like the OR, I feel yeah. like. Oh, okay. <coughs> yeah. <clears throat> Interesting. But it was terrible. And I, I was with uh, Anthony Griffith. I think I his remember name that is. name. Yeah. Older yeah. black dude. Yeah. Um, I, it, 
It was like a one man show that no one Got was prepared it. for it. No. There's, <laughs> there's a lot of talking about um, his no dead kid. Oh, you know, his kid died and how he got stronger from it. But that was like 30 minutes of his 35 minutes. And I would sit That's in the with... back just like, why would you book this? <laughs> and they have me out there like, hey, what's up with this fucking loser? Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, you guys ready for your headliner? He's like, my kid is dead. Yeah. <laughs> God. <laughs> Rick, did, do you think it's intentional that you just have all these ridiculous stories <clears throat> that, that that just surround you? I think, yeah, I think I get booked the shittiest with the craziest ever yeah. because no one knows who I am. So uh-huh. everyone's just like, "Yeah, you can do it this weekend," and then I'm like, "Okay." And I originally was supposed to feature, and then they were like, "Yeah, well, we we double booked the feature, so we're gonna have you." Uh, MC. No, but, no. And I'm like, oh, who the fuck who are they, these people? Go, who did you double book? And they got, we got, well, we also booked Ron Morey. Oh, <laughs> like, what? Ron Morey? Who the fuck is that? <laughs> and then Ron Morey is like the nicest dude ever, but he's like Fraser Smith type. Oh, yeah. His yeah, jokes, yeah. he was like, yeah. So uh, I met this girl and we, uh, all night, we were like, um, <laughs> Just uh, whistling and punching, you know man, what I mean? Man, you're like that's the that's the bit. That's that's the, you're whistling and punching. <laughs> that was a real bit. That was his real bit. Whistling and punching. No, we were... That was that was the guy that they were like, we've got to make sure that Ron gets his thirty minutes. <laughs> when do we get the documentary? When do we get the book? The Rick Ingram tells oh, Rick's all. Shit I know. Show. Yeah. On their way the down, tales. I can't go up. The Rick Ingram story. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I have some fucked up stories, but not like that. I like, mean, you the... have like. Great stories. Uh, uh, yeah. I think the difference is that people like you. And kind of. I get like the barely. Hey, this guy, <laughs> not at all. Kind of funny. <laughs> no, this guy's hilarious. We're gonna keep him down. But, yeah. What do we do with yeah. them? And uh, I'll t- what's what's the guy's name? Harry Basil. This guy. <laughs> I love Harry Basil. You, oh. Well, listen. You can He's love good Harry to Basil. Me, though. He's good to yeah. you. Yeah. This guy, he tried to throw at me the worst deal of all time. Who Harry Basil did? Yeah. yeah. And he offered me I could come open for Dean Del Rey. <laughs> oh. And I, it was like 50 bucks a show or something. 900 shows over four days. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Dean? I can. That's that's what Harry Basil offered. Oh, okay. You're a real talent, man. And if I could get you 7,000 shows over a 45-year period for okay. 400 bucks. That's great. That's great. And keep count of them. But you're in charge of cleaning up also. No. Sweep under the chairs. Come to the yeah. factory at the future site of the Oakland A's. Oh, God. I'm dead. Um, All right. Well, thanks for coming. Where can we to... find Justin, though? Where, where can you find me? Right, where are you, what are your handles? You got handles? socials? We got socials. Well, yeah, I mean, Plus, watch his podcast. Like, yeah, it's just, absolutely hilarious. Just saying with Justin Martindale in this just very saying. studio. Um, and then catch me on Jeff Lewis Live. My Instagram, Justin Martindale. My friend watches you on Jeff Lewis Live all the it's time fine. or listens to you or whatever. I'm having a good time. Yeah. Now that I'm free. <laughs> free. That's another podcast. Freedom. Yeah, um, check me out if um, someone else records a TikTok <laughs> or something and they I'm in the background. You can see me on the screenshot for he the, does the crab. The he Chris does a lot of Rock, dancing. Uh, <laughs> Kevin Hart documentary. I'm just in the tile. On Netflix, I'm not in the documentary, oh, okay. so just watch the tile, and, and that's uh, it. That's it. And you're in that one. <laughs> they literally just needed shot. I think they initially wanted a shot where they were both in it, and I'm just awkwardly standing in between <laughs> them. Because <laughs> we oh, were, the one they shot like a couple yeah, months ago. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So we were. Was that a couple months? Kevin Hart. Yeah. 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 We were in the, the middle of setting up, and yeah. Kevin Hart came in with his film crew. He's like, "I want to see the process, man. Show me the process." Oh, I love it when they check just... out what Cat Williams says yeah. about Kevin Hart. Oh, he wait. also was on the list. <laughs> Man, I, first of all, I was the first one to do short. Okay, <laughs> um, check me out at Cat Williams' next rant. Yeah, yes. Eleanor, where can we find you? <laughs> I'm hoping to be on Cat's next rant, nice. but for you. not that big. Uh, Eleanor, she be fucking everybody. You, fucking everybody. everybody. Just go to my website, Eleanor J. Eleanor J. Kerrigan. My yeah. God, this fucking tooth. It's okay. You're gonna be fine. And Rick, you're Dot performing com. at the Ha Ha Honduras. You can catch me. <laughs> well, we'll see if I. <laughs> Oh. How do you do with red snapper tacos? <laughs> All right, that's enough time. Mitzi wants us to end the show, okay? I'm Tommy Morris saying, it's called Mitzi's song. Wrap it up. Okay, that's enough cookie jar. <laughs> <laughs> you know- Fantastic. Fantastic.